Your brain is a marvel of technology. When you take drugs, you alter your brain. You change thinking patterns. You distort perception. And eventually, your brain just won't be the same. in your closet. I don't know. One of the guys was lost the what? Look, Daddy, it's not right. You get it. Dad, answer me. Who taught you how to do this stuff? favored by young people on the fringes of established society, marijuana is no longer just their thing. More and more, we hear of stockbrokers, advertising people, lawyers, doctors, writers who once a week smoke pot. It's like a drink, you know, it helps you relax, relax, relax. I mean, let's face it, if the world was perfect, nobody would get high. Relaxes me, makes me feel happy, that's all. I got the giggles, that was about all. Marijuana laws, no matter who they're enforced against, can be effective only if they're based on fact. And marijuana laws are flawed. It was once thought that the marijuana smoker could be recognized by his dilated pupils. Researchers now say there is little, if any, dilation. Though there is no change in blood sugar, there is hunger and a high appreciation for food. Time seems to move more slowly. I don't think that there's any uh, reason to believe, at least from the medical standpoint, that uh, exposure to marijuana and smoking marijuana causes any desire or need uh, to get into a hard drug and a really dangerous drug. Once you start on this drug, you can't get away from it. Music, 
certain environments such as by the sea have some rewarding spiritual relationships with, with the rest of the universe. I believe that the oppression upon the plant is another form of political oppression on the part of an established order. Marijuana threatens the, the entire political and behavioral and social pattern of the United States.